Now, if your corals are stressed and their immune system deteriorates, they can get various issues such as the brown jelly disease, which is like a yucky brown jelly bacterial infection. So the first thing you want to do is look at all the obvious stuff. Look at how good your lights are, look at how good your water flow is, check all your water parameters, um, look at what nutrients you're feeding the corals, and you will normally always find that something's wrong. Then you can fix that, which should fix the immune system of the coral, so the problem is going to stop. But as soon as you see the brown jelly, it's really best to remove it. You do not want to leave it in there, so it can land on other corals, because if it lands on other corals that also have low immune systems, then it could actually infect them as well. On the other hand, if it lands on a nice healthy coral with a good immune system, it's probably just gonna brush it off and there's gonna be absolutely no problem. So that's if you see it contracted in your aquarium. On the other hand, if you're bringing in a coral, which has got a low immune system, so maybe the conditions that it came out of were compromised, maybe the travel time was too long or something went wrong in the transportation or storing of the coral previous to you getting it, then it may have a compromised immune system. If it's got a compromised immune system, then it's going to be very susceptible to issues like brown jelly. If you have any sorts of problems with this sort of stuff um, re reoccurringly, you either just want to change where you're getting your coral from, really investigate what's happened with the coral previous to you getting it, and then even consider a quarantine tank for your coral. If you have a quarantine situation for your coral, then you're able to um, ensure that its immune system is in peak condition before it goes in your aquarium. There's all sorts of remedies and medications that you can try. You can try freshwater baths, you can try iodine baths, you can try um, all sorts of dips that are available in the market. But normally if the coral is in that state, then um, their immune system is usually already gone. So it's very hard to bring them back. Other very common reasons for stuff like this is um, coral stinging each other and fish nipping at the coral. Particularly if it's just like one polyp and that polyp jellies up and dies. Um, if you suck the jelly out as soon as you see it with a siphon and ensure that that's not in the tank, the other polyps might actually be fine. Because I'll often find that I'll have a fish, like an angel fish, and it might just keep nibbling on the coral, often on one part of the coral, and end up killing it. So there is a myriad of reasons why you might get this. But ensuring you've got good water quality and ensuring you're spending time to watch your tank so you are able to observe situations like fish attacking them, um, that can certainly help. Anyway, if you've had brown jelly disease with your corals, um, put a little note of your experience in the bottom of this video.